Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, it is gonna, my mom's gonna do a little party for her Nino Dioses. I learned a lot. I learned a lot this year. To be honest with you guys, I feel like 2023 wasn't really my year. Like, I kid you not, I went through so much 2023. But look, Diosito Santo me dio las fuerzas, me levantó. And look, me alive and me doing good, thank God. Let me put my eyelash. Why do these look like different lashes? Girl, get. Are these different lashes? What the, what the fuck? You have to do with this shit. Anyways. Girl, I look fucking stupid. It's okay. 2010, they taught me to focus on myself. I don't like talking to guys. I feel like guys want that splendor. And if you don't give them that splendor, they get mad and they crazy. It's really rare. It's really, really rare to, rare to find a guy that isn't their intentions with you aren't with lust. Even the, even the guys that claim to be a Christian or Catholic or like, Esas gentes que tienen malas intenciones entre, you know, guys, something that I learned at my cousin, my cousin's super duper religious, right? She's so religious and she taught me a lot of things that I'm like mind blown about my Catholic religion. So I don't know if you guys know, but I'm, I'm very, very, I try my best to be, I'm Catholic, right? I try my, I try my best to be really, really close to God. I know like a lot of people aren't religious. Maybe some of the people that support me are religious, and you know what? That's that's really all up to you. If you if you God gave us um, freedom and libertad to to like make our own choices in life. So it's really all up to you if you want to believe in God. If you don't want to believe, like that's all up to you. You know, no one can force you. That's all up to you. And you just stop cursing to you guys porque eso no no es de Dios. Basically, my cousin was telling me that there's people out there that claim to be, you know, there's people out there that love God, right? I love God with all my heart. You know, if you're if you're religious or you believe in God, you you love God with all your heart, right? And you know, there's times where you talk to a person, right? It could be a boy, a girl, it could be a man, a woman, a lady, it could be anyone. And let's say you're talking to this one person, right? And you know, when you're with them, it's like you talk about God with them, and you know, you have you have such a beautiful time with them, right? But, but if, let's say like they claim to be, you know, Christian, Catholic, but then they treat you wrong. They, they talk to girls, you know, they do things they shouldn't be doing. Or like, they talk to you wrong, they talk back to you. Like, they don't have morals, they don't have respect, or they don't respect you in general. If they don't respect you in general, ellos no tienen temor a Dios. What does that mean? That means you don't fear God. When you don't fear God, tú tratas a las personas como se te pega la gana. O sea... You cheat on your girl, you talk, you, you're playing girls, but you love God. It's like you love God, but God isn't in your heart. You love God, but God isn't with you in your heart. You could love God, of course, but is he in you? Is he in your heart? Did you accept him in your heart? When you fear God, you treat people with respect. You don't, you don't, you're not even capable of wanting to hurt people because you're scared of what God's gonna think, you know? Like, you're scared of hurting a child of God. Everyone in this world is a child of God. I'm a child of God, you're a child of God, everyone is a child of God. But basically, what I'm trying to say is people can claim to be, you know, Christian Catholic, but they don't fear God. So in reality, they'll hurt you regardless. They still have, they're still not fully committed to God. That like really hit me. Like, that really like, really stuck through to me. Like, you know, I, I will talk to people that, um, that used to say like, oh, you know what, like, you know, I'm Catholic and everything. And you know, you assume they're good people. Sometimes they're not good people. Why? Because you're not, you don't fear God. So I feel like that really taught me a lesson, talking to people that claim to be um, a woman of God, a man of God. Sometimes they're not there yet. And the best thing you could do is just pray for them. Just because they hurt you, doesn't mean you wish them the worst. You wanna, you wanna pray for them. You know, Jesus Christ mentioned, con que te ganas hating a person. You don't win nothing out of it. So just pray, love one another. Treat a person the way you wanna be treated. Treat everyone with respect, you know. Of course, you know, any human being would want to be treated with respect. I always treat people, I try my best to treat people the way I would want to be treated, and that is, of course, with respect. So, if someone hurt me and you know, I they gave me this wrong impression, the best thing you can do is alejarte de esa persona. That's the best thing any human being could do is alejarte de esa persona. You never want to wish them the worst, never. If they're talking shit to you, if they don't respect you, leave them. Push them away. Because every human being in this world deserves to be treated with kindness and respect. So just always remember that. 
don't just because a person claims to be catholic or christian or you know they preach about that um don't always assume that they are good people you know sometimes they don't fear god and we end up mistaking that sometimes because of those people a lot of the people blame god when it's not god's fault it's not god's fault it's those people that preach something they're not you know they they, pr they portray something they're not and it's really sad for a person to be acting like that you know like they still have they don't have peace in their mind they don't have peace in their soul because they don't, they don't have god they haven't accepted god and that really took me a while to understand you know it took me a while to understand what the definition of fear in god means but yeah and i also want to talk about something else that really really like like really blew my fucking mind you know i haven't eaten anything the whole day in 36 we're talking to a guy or girl and stressing you out push them away and focus on you Focus on you, you guys. That's the best thing you can do to yourself is focusing on yourself. Always remember that focusing on yourself is the biggest blessing ever. You know, you're, you're, you haven't you haven't gotten married. That's a blessing. You know, that means more time with you and God. You know, take everything as a blessing, guys. Be happy. Be be grateful. Take everything as a blessing. Trust me, because I can't find my sister. Anyway, something i'm gonna talk about too is it's like if you're catholic you go to church right and in the church when we pray el rosario siempre decimos cordero de dios que quita el pecado del mundo que quita el, pe el pecado del mundo perdónanos señor oye no señor ten misericordia de nosotros señor what does that mean you think about that what does that mean nunca te has puesto a pensar lo que significa cordero de dios que quitas el pecado del mundo perdónanos señor have you ever thought about that my cousin told me that and i've never thought of it like that like i've never nunca me puesto a pensar lo que significa if you don't know what that means don't worry i am here to explain to you what that means a cordero how much do you guys know what a cordero, cordero is a cordero is a lamb lambs are an animal so funny a lamb back in the day before jesus christ was crucified i don't know if you guys have heard the story of moises abraham and isaac and jacob or jonathan i'm not sure but those stories all connect all the biblical stories all of the stories from the bible connect a cordero back in the day to cleanse our sins un sacerdote un sacerdote which is a priest a priest will um will sacrifice a lamb un cordero with the blood of a cordero with a lamb that would cleanse a person's um sin you know you know how us us catholics we go and then we um us catholics go and we go confess right there's no need to get a cordero and do all of that sacrifice because that's why jesus christ died so i don't know if you guys know but in the catholic bible it mentions how jesus christ was dragged like a cordero Lo estaban arrastrando como un cordero. they were treating him like a cordero which they were sacrificing him Lo estaban sacrificando como si fuera un cordero. they were sacrificing him as if he was a lamb so when jesus christ that's why god brought jesus christ to die for our sins because so we would no longer have to be doing the, that sacrifice so because of jesus christ thankfully we no longer have to be doing so much sacrifice and because of that we're cleansed from our sins and since jesus christ died from that and it cleansed us from our sins we have now the choice to follow god or not i thought that was like my blowing because i've never thought of it that way i just i've never like put myself to think about that you know that's why i love i love love talking about god because like every day i'm learning something new you know when you ever pray study study about it study what you're praying it's always beautiful to, to know the meaning behind what we're praying so yeah i learned that so have you guys ever um what does faith mean to you like what does faith mean to you like what does faith mean to you my cousin questioned me that she was like what does faith mean to you and i told her faith means trusting god she's like you're right but it has more of a meaning i'm like what do you mean she's like to a lot of people faith means like trusting god which is correct you're trusting god but the definition of faith the definition of faith is to believe in something that hasn't happened yet so creyendo en algo que no ha pasado so you're having faith in something that hasn't happened yet you're trusting god um and then she was also telling me how like um she was also explaining to me about how like because i told her i don't sleep that well at night like i'm just thinking and thinking about a lot of things at night so i, I can't sleep so i sleep to like three or four in the morning right and it's been happening to me like where i can't sleep and she said the reason you cannot sleep is because you, you don't have peace in your heart you don't have god in your heart and i was like what do you mean like i i have so much faith in god you know i trust god she's like no you don't it's like that's why you keep thinking about things you keep thinking and and doubting things 
that things won't happen, you know? She's like, estás dudando en Dios. She's like, you're doubting God. I'm like, no. And she's like, yes, because you're not, you're stressing about things. You're worrying about things. She's like, why stress about it if God is a man of his word? God is not a liar. God is a man of his word. Trust in him. Put your faith, your trust, and all your worries and anxiety and all your stress in his hands. Because God, God is... A man of his word he's he's it's impossible for god to lie to you like god is a man of his word god's gonna help you if you if you if you ask him and declare it fuck some if you declare it in god's name and in nombre de jesucristo everything's gonna be okay we need to give it to him dale todo tu ansiedad all, all your worries all your stress depression everything leave it to god and you will have peace in your heart she's like when you have that peace in your heart, you're, you're going to be able to sleep more beautiful. You're going to be able to think about life more beautiful and enjoy life better. Obviously, there's going to be times where there's going to be ups and downs, but that's just that's just life in general. It's the beauty of life. God did not promise us that life was going to be easy, you know? Because that's why you need to prepare yourself for those things. Dios te va a revelar cosas en la vida para prepararte para ese momento. Girl, I was... My, like, she talks so... My cousin talks so beautiful about my life. I need more people like you in my life, you know? Because I love talking about God. Like, there's, I have a lot of friends, right? A lot of my friends are not, you know, they believe in God and everything, but they're not as, like, focused in God as the way I, I am, you know? And I feel like to us with tiempo, there's going to be a time, you know? There's always a time where someone gets a lot closer to God. It's, it's, all, it's all a choice in life. God, yeah. I respect everyone's beliefs because I wouldn't want anyone to tell me nothing, you know? So you, you want to treat everyone with respect. But of course... I'm never gonna stop preaching the God, God's word. Mientras que yo esté viva, I'm gonna do my best to do what I can. Oh yeah, let's hear music. I gotta do something. Oh yeah, guys. Um, something I'm trying to do is like stop cursing, cause I wanna stop cursing, cause that's bad, you know. And a lot of people do curse and you know i'm like it's sit this alley and some people are just used to it me i got used to cursing and i never used to curse ever i was i would be scared to say a bad word now i just say it like it's normal and it's bad it's really bad i just stop my nephew gave me two urban decay setting sprays girl heaven what the fuck this is old and this is new Oh my gosh. But yeah, you guys, just keep having faith. Do not give up on what you want to do in life. Just because there's a lot of competition, don't let that stop you. Just because it involves, say you want to go to school, you, let's say you want to go to school and it involves a lot of money. Don't let that scare you. Don't let nothing scare you or stop you from making your dreams come true. Pray and have so much faith. Believe it. Fake it till you make it. Believe it till you make it. You know, that's one of the biggest things is when you fake it till you make it. Believe it till you make it. You'll make it. Just keep having faith and don't give up. Don't give up. Also, you guys, a goal of mine is if God me permite y me presta vida to ever work so hard and I'm able to, you know, win good money in the future or with whatever I can, I'm gonna help the world like a lot. And I've always, that's always been in my mind and fiddle. There's still a lot of time. I'm still very young. I'm still very young. Let me do a thumbnail. I put olive oil the other day, and girl, I think that did a difference. Like, I think it genuinely made a difference. I love these songs, they make me so happy. change so i'll be right back i'll be back i'll be back 
I got so skinny, guys. I'm gonna wear this with my Jordans. I'm gonna wear them with these Jordans. With these. Every single time I apply my perfume, I make sure. <coughs> excuse me. I make sure to apply some of this lotion to back my neck. Oh, back. And then, and then I get my perfume and I put some right here. And that's pretty much it. I love this perfume so much. Someone like very special in my life bought me this thanks to that person everyone compliments my, my my scent that's like my signature smell i don't know that's how you say it but I used to have another beautiful card. It was a Misericordia. It was a very powerful card that I used to have behind my phone. Then I gave it to someone. I gave it to someone so now I have to, I have to put something there to protect me. I literally have 50 pesos behind my... So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that there. And I'm going to put this. To protect me. I always do that. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. Subscribe, like, hit the bell button, and don't ever forget that you are a beautiful human being. You are a beautiful soul. Someone out there cares about you, and just remember to never ever give up. Never ever give up. Every your life give up. And where are my rings? Oh my gosh. I lost my rings, girl. No, what the fuck? Just remember you were created in God's beautiful and perfect image. Don't ever forget to know your worth and that you're worth so much. Never lose your dignity for anyone. Have dignity, you know, when it comes to relationship. Have dignity in everything. And just remember to put yourself first. If something doesn't feel right, leave that situation, you know? El Espíritu Santo is always there to guide you. Just pray. Oh, sorry, I can't talk. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Yeah, happy holidays, happy new years, and I hope your 2024 turns out to be the most beautiful year and those many years that are that are to come. I hope those are a beautiful and wonderful bless, you know, the most beautiful years ever. And God bless you guys and and uh, happy holidays. I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful time with your guys' family. Stay safe out there and take care. Okay guys, I love you guys so much with all my heart. Thank you guys so much for the support. This will be my the one of the last videos before 2024 what the fuck someone told me someone commented and i like to do the 100 uh tape challenge and i am gonna do it i promise i promise i'm gonna do it i'm just i'm waiting for the right time to do it but yes i'm gonna do the 100 layers of tape challenge don't worry don't worry i see that coming so yeah subscribe guys i love you guys and have a beautiful wonderful day you're beautiful just the way you are bye guys laters love you guys so much with all my heart i love you guys so much with all my heart bye laters